Hey, what's up everyone? So it's your boy Yashvi Gaming. Well, if you're new to this channel, guys, I would like you to kill, murder, and smash that little subscribe button and also ring that bell notification. Okay, so without any further ado, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how um, we're going to actually mine, okay, on a graphic card GTX 1650, okay, on the NVIDIA geforce gtx 1650 can it mine yes absolutely it can mine but can we do mining on it yes absolutely yes but it is a crappy card okay you're gonna your hash rate will be under 10 okay my my last hash rate okay the mega hash that i was getting was about six to eight okay the maximum was 8 mega hash all right so how you're gonna get started is to visit this nihash.com okay nicehash.com here you're gonna click on mining and you're gonna go to profit uh, this one to the calculator you're gonna scroll down to here as you can see auto detection so i click on auto detect my hardware it's gonna prompt you to download click on download and detect here just select download and now click open okay and just wait as you can see detecting successful and here it's gonna list the nvidia gtx 1650 click show earnings you're gonna uh it's gonna calculate the total earnings per day okay and here's the approximation income with nice hash okay so you'll be making zero dollars dot 12 cents per day okay this is really low all right here as you can see the income per day you're gonna make this and the electricity cost and you're gonna be left with a profit zero dot 12 cents usd okay and in one week you're gonna make this amount and in one month okay in 30 days you're gonna you'll be making three usd dollars only so if we grab this 3.13 okay i'm gonna open my calculator 3.13 times 12 okay so 12 months in a year okay so basically in a year you you're gonna make 37 dot 56 cents dollars okay you you're gonna you'll be making 37 bucks only all right so this is really low okay uh, i do not i absolutely do not recommend do mining on this gtx 1650 because it is a crappy card for mining but it really does well for gaming okay if you're playing like games such as triple a's like apex legends fortnite and uh, yeah it's it's gonna work beautifully and also i've tested this card on gta 5 all right you're gonna get 90 fps to 100 fps on medium high settings okay 1080p okay so if still you have a laptop you have a pc and you're stuck with this nvidia gtx uh, 1650 and if still you want to give this gpu a try okay let's see how well it performs in mining all right so let's say you haven't mined um let's say you're new to mining okay you you probably heard of mining you've probably watched a lot of videos on mining how people do it so if you're wondering if your card is capable of doing uh, mining or not okay so let's give it a try first of all you're gonna click get started and it's gonna prompt you to uh, enter your email you're gonna confirm your email you're gonna create your account and then you're gonna get your wallet and um, it's gonna give you it's gonna automatically create a bitcoin wallet for you okay so that wallet address you're gonna keep it safe because um every four hours that you mine on your graph cards you're gonna get paid on that wallet okay on that bitcoin wallet address 
right so you don't need to do anything here and yeah for this card guys i would like to point out that uh, this nvidia gtx 1650 i have tried uh to overclock i have tried overclock the card and then uh try the and try to mine with it with overclock settings it did not work okay it did not work at all for me it crashed all right i get a blue screen until it restarted my pc okay so i'll be testing this crappy cut on stock settings okay without okay with no overclocking settings all right so i've already configured i've already downloaded and installed a nice hash okay so just open it and as for you if you're opening it for the first time you might see some uh, benchmarking okay it's gonna benchmark here if you go to settings here as you can see this is a wallet address which i talked uh before uh here if you go to advanced here you can set all of those details uh if you go to benchmark as you can see here it it has enabled it has benched 7.5 all right and if i click all of that as you can see auto auto like us uh no benchmark so i'm gonna turn this off and for the beam 3 as well i'm gonna turn this off okay so as you can see on on kpal which is raven coin and b minor we are getting 8.282 mega hash per seconds and if you want to do on the um, or do like us here nb minor not lol minor but with nb minor you will get 30 mega hash okay um here oops it's like all i'm gonna turn this off turn this off all right this and yeah so far so good and for plugins if you want to try some other plugins i really recommend you to use nb minor and lol minor well you can try any of that if you have an lhr card okay any rtx 60 uh any rtx 3000 series they are full lhr except rtx 3090 which is full hash rate okay fhr and also we have rtx 3060 ti the founders edition which is not lhr okay is a full hash rate uh fhr okay so i'll be clicking here and um yeah let's test this and see i'm gonna click start mining and this kind of set up the uh, cmd tab will open like this so you know keep this open uh, i'm gonna minimize it do not close a uh, nice hash window here and here i'm not overclocking guys i will not be overclocking and right now just wait for it and i'm going to show you as you can see i'm running it on my ryzen 7 5700g and so on so let's see let's give it a few wait and at first it's gonna start at six mega hash and then it's gonna crank up to seven eight let's hope we get nine okay i was really hoping that i could achieve 10 mega hash with this card but it's a crap card for mining okay as you can see the maximum mega hash is 8.232 mega uh mega hash okay see the hash rate right here total 8.232 right and it's only using the spu 4% load 
Okay, fun speed at 51. Uh, you can see the speed clock and so on. Okay, and now as you can see, 8 mega hash. Okay, so so far this card is running. And if you want to view stats online, you click that and this is going to take you to your account where you're going to see your stats. Okay, as you can see right here, this is a uh, rig. Uh, temperature is 60, 63, 64, fan speed, alright, 100% uh, load. We are currently running NB minor on Kapow, uh This is Raven Coin at 7.9 mega hash rate. Okay, so. Basically, we can achieve that 10 mega, uh, that 10 mega hash. If I turn off my screen and if I stop recording and I turn off my screen, I just press the power on my monitor screen. Okay, I keep it off. I will be read. Uh, I will get that 10 mega hash. Okay, the hash rate of 10 mega hash. I will. I will be. Um, what am I saying? I will achieve that. Yeah. So that's why. Uh, and also, guys. Um, yeah, my HDMI cable as well is plugged in directly into this graphic cards as well. All right. So as you can see, seven, seven, then eight. Okay, eight mega hash. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna leave that uh, maybe like a few hours. I'm gonna leave that to stock settings. Um, I'm not gonna overclock it because yeah, last time I tried to boost the mega uh the overclock. I did the memory clock to two thousands, and then it crashed. Okay, it crashed the GPU. Um, I just got a uh, blue screen and um, it took about a few seconds until it rebooted my PC okay so this purpose of uh, the purpose of this video guys is to show you that uh, if you're wondering if you are if you have a laptop with the same card GTX 1650 if you have a PC if you have a Dell Optiplex or whatever uh, with this crap cards uh, if you're wondering can you graph cards GTX 1650 can it mine okay can it mine ethereum or whatever raven coin kapow whatever the, the crypto yes the card is capable of mining but as you can see you're not gonna reach above 10 mega hash okay so you might want to upgrade okay consider to upgrade your graph cards all right guys so yeah this was it uh thanks for watching all right but that what really disappoints me is that 0 0.12 dollars okay zero dollars dot 12 cents a day <laughs> damn I mean that sucks. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching.